This February, Matt Damon must fight a legion of monster lizard people at the Great Wall of China in the Great Wall. Hey everybody, once again, welcome to the Mothman Jones Movie Channel. I'm your host, John Maffio, and today's featured film is The Great Wall, starring Matt Damon and Oberyn Martell. That's not his actor's name, so that's the guy from Game of Thrones. But I like calling him Oberyn Martell. He's my man. But anyway, the film is about Matt Damon and his colleague, who run into an army that reside at the Great Wall of China, who have been fighting an ancient war against a legion of lizard monster things. So they decide to team up and try to survive as they fight these monsters while also saving their own asses. First of all, let me just say this movie has one of the most random plots ever. Matt Damon fights alongside a Chinese army, a massive Chinese army, to defeat a legion of Kurt Connors lizard monster things at the Great Wall of China. Movie sounds like it could be a disaster. I went into this movie not knowing what to expect, seriously, like, I just sounds so ridiculous and bonkers, but I came out of it kind of enjoying it. Is it a good movie? I don't necessarily think so, but it's a fun film. It's competently made. It's very colorful. There's a lot of adequate filmmaking on display, and visually, this film does have powerful moments, but the overall structure, tone, and just feel of the film may not rub the right way with a lot of people. It's as simple as this. If you heard the plot of what I just told you and you were like, I'm in for it, you're probably going to enjoy this movie. But if you heard that and you were like, what the hell is that? You probably won't enjoy this movie. It's competently filmed and directed. It has a solid direction for what it's going for. And um, the action is actually, for the most part, at least for the first two acts, engaging. As stupid as it may sound, it actually kind of is to watch a giant army of humans fighting giant green monsters. It actually is fun to watch. Seeing how this army fights, learns to adapt to fight, and go approach situation of fighting these things is interesting. How they resolve this fight by the third act and how this film is concluded may not necessarily be satisfying, but at least from the beginning, from the get-go, it is enjoyable watching, seeing how these people deal with the situation. And the variety of ways this army uses combat is refreshing. This movie isn't just about guys using swords fighting brum brum brum. It's not repetitive. It's actually really interesting. And they go in different directions showing how these humans go about fighting these monsters. It is quite cartoony though. And it is ridiculous as I mentioned before. And if you're not on board for it, then you're not going to be on board for the majority of the movie. Willem Dafoe plays another fellow foreigner who stumbled upon this army at the Great Wall of China 25 years before Matt Damon shows up. And he has a decent role, but you could have basically put anybody in that role. He's just It's just kind of cool to see him there, I guess. There's really not much more to say about this film. The Great Wall is one of those weird movies, once again, that if you're into the premise, you'll enjoy it. If you're not into the premise, stay away from it. Um, performances are fine, the action is interesting, and it keeps amping up for the most part, and then the ending is silly and cartoony and repetitive in a sense that you've probably seen this resolution to a third act for an action movie thousands of times before. But it's still a fun time. If you can get into it, then you'll enjoy it. It's the second original film to come out this weekend, besides The Cure for Wellness. So, between the two, I'd probably say, if you're looking for something more flashy, see this one. If you like something more slow burny, then see the other. But, movie's fine. That's, that's really it. It's just, bleh, whatever. The Great Wall is going to receive a 2 out of 5. It's a Sam Worthington. But it's not a bad movie. It's really not. Now I want to know from you guys, what did you think of The Great Wall? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you enjoy Matt Damon in the action? Do you think he stuck out like a sore thumb? Like he was just thrown into like a random foreign movie? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, please like, share if you haven't, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and check out my social medias along with my Odyssey page down below. I'm John Matthew, a.k.a. Mothman Jones, and I'll see you guys next time.